Hello students, I am going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Medical 2019-21 Test number 2 code C and D Your test was held on 10th of November 2019 and I will be dealing with the botany section So the very first question in the botany section is question number 91 which says metabolic reactions occur in as you know metabolism is the defining feature of the living organisms it means metabolism is present in or metabolic reactions occur in all the living organisms without exception and it does not occur in non-living objects so the metabolic reactions occur in living organisms only this is correct in vitro conditions only no metabolic reactions can be made in in vitro conditions which we call them living reactions so this is incorrect non-living objects only no living beings as well as in cell free system no in cell free systems living reactions can occur but metabolic reactions occur in living organisms only so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question question number 92 the correct sequence and the biological name of an organism is According to binomial nomenclature, which was given by Linnaeus, a biological name has a generic name and a specific epithet. A biological name has a generic name, specific epithet and the author citation. So first we write the generic name. For example, if we write the scientific name of mango, it will be Mangifera indica. And this is the author's name in the abbreviated form. So this is the generic name. Indica is the specific epithet. And this is author citation. So the correct sequence is generic name, specific epithet and at the end it should be author citation. So, the correct option for the given question should be option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93. Identify the taxonomical age on the basis of following information. Educational institutes maintains this for study and reference. And it has collection of preserved plants and animals. Option number 1 and 2 are ruled out as in the second statement it is written that it a it has collection of preserved plants and animals. So animals cannot be preserved in herbarium or, or in botanical garden. So this, these two options are ruled out. Catalog, it contains the alphabetical arrangement of species for the study. So this option is also ruled out. Museum, yes, museum is present in the educational institutes, schools, colleges for the purpose of study and it has preserved plants and animals. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's see the next question. Question number 94. The lowest common taxonomic category for wheat and mango is? It's an interesting question. Wheat, it's a monocot. So wheat belongs to the class monocotyledony. And mango belongs to the class dicotyledony. But they have same division that is angiospermy. So the lowest common category between wheat and mango is division. So the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 95. Scientific name of an organism is based on principles and criteria provided in ICBN. It can be said that this organism so for an organism the scientific name was based on the criteria which was given in the icbn icbn stands for the international code of botanical nomenclature means this organism is a plant now this organism is acellular no plants are not acellular they do not lack nucleus they do not have holozoic mode of nutrition they have cellulosic cell wall so this organism has cellulosic cell wall as this belongs to the plant kingdom so the correct option for the given question is option number 
two let's move to the next question